Hey ladies, today I'm going to show you how to do this zombie pinup girl makeup tutorial. It's absolutely perfect for Halloween, a little bit sexy, but also really gruesome. First you're going to start off with a really light colored foundation. I'm using one by Krylon, but you could also use just white face paint from the Halloween store. Now we're going to go into this ashy kind of gray light brown color and we're going to use that as our first contouring color. We're going to go a lot darker with purples and things like that, but this is kind of the base color for all the contouring we're going to do. You want to go in your cheekbones, your temples, and then you also want to go around your eyes just to give you that really hollowed out look. going into this color called Blackberry by MAC and I'm going to start using that to contour as well and I'm going to go into a diagonal motion where my cheekbones are and then drag it downwards around my mouth and that's going to kind of give you that hollowed out really just sick look. Now right here you see me doing the C shape right above my um, upper cheekbone and that's going to also give you that hollowed out look and really skinny gaunt look. Alright, now I'm taking that same blackberry color and I'm applying it under my eyes in windshield wiper motions, but I'm concentrating most of the color in the inner part of the eye because under eye circles tend to be more on the inner part than the outer part. So I'm just kind of bringing it out that way and then I'm also going to put it up at the bridge of my nose and that's also going to bring that under eye circle up a little bit. So my biggest tip for contouring is just kind of darkening up the areas that already kind of sink on your face and not the areas that protrude. So now I'm doing my temples and I did under my chin and kind of around my mouth. And now I'm darkening up under my eyes again with a dark brown and then I'm making sure I'm getting right under my eyes and right under my lash line just to make sure that under eye circles look really dark around that area. A good way to make yourself look bruised is using greens and yellows, and it's okay if it has a little bit of shimmer in it, no one's really going to notice that much. So I'm just taking like green and yellow and just kind of putting that around my eyes as well to give that really ghostly look. And then you're going to take your favorite eyeliner and you're going to do winged eyeliner, and I'm really extending mine and making it really dramatic just to kind of give that really, really pin up vibe. Now I'm going in with a red eyeliner and I'm lining underneath my lower lash line and this gives you a really really tired look which I like so go ahead and do that and then also really focus it in the inner corners as well. Now we're just going to fill in your eyebrows. We want um, really dark nice shaped eyebrows because pinup girls usually have nicely shaped eyebrows. Alright, now we're going to do our lips. You're going to go ahead and line it with a red lip liner. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to kind of smudge it out and mess it up. So just kind of roughly line it and then use your favorite red lipstick. I'm using Russian Red by MAC. And just apply that onto your lips. Now I'm using a black eyeshadow. This is Carbon by MAC. And I put it on an angle brush and I'm just kind of darkening up the outer corners of my lips just to make it look a little bit more dramatic and spooky. Now just have fun with it and make a nice big smudge. Alright guys, now for the fun part, we're going to do the wounds and the gross stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take some liquid latex and you're going to apply that to the places that you want your wounds to be. And you can get liquid latex at any Halloween store. And then I'm going to take a piece of Kleenex and go ahead and lay that on the liquid latex. And just kind of make it into like a weird funky little shape. And then go ahead and take more of that liquid latex and just kind of sponge it over the top just to make sure it stays. And then I'm going to do that again on my cheek and wherever else you want to do a big wound. Now just let it dry and once it's dry go ahead and take that same foundation color and just kind of go over the wound so it kind of matches the same color as your skin. And this is the part where you kind of have to be creative and kind of just do your own thing. Um, I basically just take some purple eyeshadows, um, it totally depends on what you want to use, I'm using Blackberry. 
and I'm just gonna put that all over the wound make it look like a bruise and then I'm also gonna add some red lipstick and just kind of smudge red lipstick all over and you basically just want to make those areas look as bruised and gross as possible so just use your fingers and blend away and just have fun with it make the actual wound hole so go ahead and pull open a little part in the middle of the um, tissue paper and make a little hole and then you want to fill that in with black and red and that's gonna make it look really dark and bloody and you want to do that on both the uh, cheekbone one and the one on your forehead Now you're going to take your vampire blood, which is the funnest part of the whole tutorial, I have to say, and you're going to just put that on the wounds and let it drip down, and just kind of take your finger and smudge it all over the wounds to make it look more real and gruesome. Now right here you just see me making a bruise on my neck. I kind of want to bring down the gruesome stuff onto the rest of my body. So if you do this for Halloween, you definitely want to maybe put one on your arm and maybe on your leg. Just so it doesn't look like your face is the only thing that's hurt. And it might make it look a little more realistic. And then we're just going to put a flower in our hair. I'm using a real flower and the reason is, is because I think it will be better throughout the night. Because as the night goes on, the flower will die. So it will look a little bit more dead and gross and just more zombie-like. Alright guys, that is my pinup zombie look. I hope you guys like it. And if any of you guys decide to be this for Halloween this year, um, I would love to see pictures. So you can send them to me on Twitter or whatnot, and I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!